Hi there YouTube and welcome back to the One Gun Run in Fallout 4. And we're just running through the escape tunnel, not quite sure where I've got my gun out or I'm sneaking actually, as we know this place is safe. So yeah, I can probably just run through here and not have to worry about anything. And then we go to outside where it is dangerous. So make sure to get the gun back out before then and... Yeah, I'm not wearing my bartering gear. Just need to check... Um, I'm going to check on my equipment actually. I'm always worried that I'm not wearing the right gear and that I'll wander into a fight with all my charisma stuff on like I have done before. Alright, heard movement, got worried, forgot that there's boats outside. That is fine. Yeah, boats are quite an annoying audio distraction. But yeah, first stop, we've just got to go a tiny bit over this way and get a dead drop. Uh, not sure if it's actually going to be a useful dead drop to send us somewhere relatively safe-ish, or if it's going to be a horrible one that I won't want to deal with. Okay, feral ghouls in... Oh yeah, this graveyard isn't that. However, I have got... Yeah, pretty clear shot at you. And you too. Who else? You going to pop up? Sweet! Thank you for all staying still for me there. That's really helpful. Seriously, it is. Now, there's going to be more of them, because the brackets are still shuffling. But I'm pretty sure they're all on the other side. And this is going to get me some bottle caps and some cheap ammo to sell as well. And let's go up in this building. Because I don't often explore just like the tiny little buildings. But they're really quite nice. They give you a good vantage point where you get the height on your enemies. So here, for example, yeah, it'll show me just where the ghouls are. It's perfect. So that meant I didn't have to go up close and deal with him. I could get him from a safe, safe distance. Something exploded. That's uh, always worrying. Okay, dead drop is right here though. And oh yeah, that's place is filled with raiders. Let me... Ooh, two bottle caps. Yep. Um, university point. Ah, yeah, you can... You can... Bugger right off game. <laughs> oh, yeah, not only is that very far away, it's... Well, to be honest, University Point isn't too bad. It's more just a case of... The getting to University Point's a bit of a pain. Now, Jackpot Hub 360 is something I actually want to do. And I just remember the level up. I didn't know what I was going to do with that, did I? You know what? I'm going to go with Life Giver. I know there will be people in the comments going, Oh my god, this will never put life to us. You should get an extra point of endurance instead because it gives you more health. I I just want the health regen if I hit level 20. That's all I'm after. That's it. Just a chance at health regen. So on survival mode, not having to use up your healing items to heal just tiny little things, but also being able to remain at full health is incredibly helpful. So... I want myself constant health regeneration if I can possibly get it. Oh, the little green flags! I was like, why is there an objective marker over there? That's not right. And all medics. And... Hold up, where am I going? I should jump in the water and swim around. I've got to remember, my smartest option is always jumping in the water and swimming around. Travelling on land is for people who aren't doing permadeath runs of survival mode without Aqua Boy or Aqua Girl. Yeah, for me, just have a nice swim. The exact opposite to real life. In real life, I avoid water as if it's going to kill me if I look at it. In this game, no, just constantly, constantly in the water. Oh, I've just discovered Boston Airport. I'm in a very different location in the map than I thought I was. I should probably check the map. And, oh no, I'm just swimming around a pier, that's all. Yeah, Boston Airport, I always forget how close it is to the whole Railroad HQ. Because obviously you end up with, like, the Railroad and the Brotherhood of Steel almost next door to each other. Which just seems a bit wrong. Alright, we're near where I need to be now. All I've got to work out is how I'm going to get up to this place and if it's going to be dangerous. Because, yeah, there's a little pier on the end here. Anything here? Looks somewhat safe. Go, go into hidden. Thank you. And, okay, beer bottles. That's nice. Oh, get, get ice cold. Oh, cold I'm going to get. And I want, thank you, the pencil. The pencil was all I was trying to grab there. 
Alright, so check the map. Yeah, so I'm going to need to go forward one street road on the left to the DIA cache. Okay, I, I really like how the map on this game is done. Because it's nice and simple, but it actually gives you the detail you need. I rarely find myself getting, like, properly lost. Because I've always got the map just to help me. Okay, raid a place here. Which is the worry. Yeah. Got to play it very cautious, because the brackets have started shuffling. Brackets have started shuffling. It's bad, yeah, 93 that way. Oh, dearie, dearie, dear. There's... A couple of Wastelanders. I'm more worried about what's behind me here. The Wastelanders, I don't think, are going to attack me. Because they're too far away. I've run into rad scorpions around here before. And I'm overtired. <laughs> no! No! Okay. Oh. Okay, first off, overtired from a lack of sleep. What does that give me? No, I've got to have... I've got Nuka-Cola. I'm carrying them around for a reason. Uh, it's actually going to be Nuka-Cherry. But yeah, that should get rid of... Okay, but it still puts me tired. Maybe I'll have another one. Normally I wouldn't, but with a legendary glowing red scorpion right there... Okay, what does more damage? But... No. The... No! The stinger... The face... The face seems to be the most damage. Or the... Tail. No, tail's part of a torso. So I could hit the face with a critical and do a fair bit of damage. But that on its own is not going to help me. And I, and I can always dive in the water to get away. I think I'm going to have to deal with this red scorpion though. I don't see myself being able to just straight up kill him without it. What drugs have I got to aid me? Because right now... I think going all out on the drugs might actually be my best option. Okay, I've got blood packs to heal. I've got buff tats, which are very good actually. Buff tats, and have I got some form of jet? I've got jet and buff tats. I've even got medics, which I'll probably take as well. And I've got plenty of quantums. Psycho buff too. Plenty of purified water with me. Yep. Tons of stim packs. Or I could stealth boy it. No. I've got to take this fight head on. If I don't, then otherwise I'm letting a Brad Scorpion just wander past. There is a super mutant. Alright, let's see if I can get the super mutant to fight the Rad Scorpions. New plan! New plan immediately on the fly! That's firing. Can't see them coming at me. Hopefully, that means they're fighting a legendary glowing rad scorpion. Step. Oh, and into hidden. Yes, it it's taken a decent chunk of damage. Is it still fighting? Yes, it's still fighting. This is perfect. Yeah, the skirmish is about to go down. But okay, let's go back. Let's stay back. We, As much as it's nice just being able to look at the whole thing. Don't want them to... Notice me. Pretty sure those wastelanders are going to stay friendly. I'm trying to make sure I don't drop in the water because that's going to panic me a bit. Come on. Let's keep moving. Hup. If you say hup when you jump, it gives you more... Oomph. Okay, it's going back to its patrol. It looks like it's regenerated once already. I think it's mutated. Yeah, that's a whole bunch of dead mutants. Oh, but there's one on top as well. One on top it has that. Yeah, it's got the red glow. It's gone through one health bar already. Oh, shit. It just saw me. Shoot it. 
Drugs. All the drugs. <laughs> Why did it see me? Okay, jet medics. Let's do a couple of purified water before I kill myself. And where's Buff Tats? Buff Tats. Reload. Jump. Jump. I'm just trying to jump myself away from where it's going to easily get to me. Yes. The um. That's kind of a worry. Where are you? I'm prepared to deal with you, but I need you to show up. Oh, I hate red scorpions. I hate them so much. Oh, I think someone else is fighting it. Someone else is totally fighting. Instead, let's... I've got all these Molotovs. Let's throw a few Molotovs in. Litter the ground with fire and hope that something runs over it all. Oh, there's a hit. Over that way somewhere. Killed something. Back into caution. Alright. Guessing the legendary one. And I'm kind of annoyed I used all of those drugs now. Because I'm guessing that's going to have some bad knock on effects. Okay. Wow. Those raiders aren't doing as badly as I'd imagine. A bit too low. Try just coating the ground with fire. Don't I hate how they spawn up somewhere and leave immediately. No, I still don't care about those wastelanders. There it is. Oh, bad raider! No! No! Oh! I hate the favourites button. I hate it so much. No! Dirt is never so terrifying as when there's a red scorpion about. Okay, let's put some fire there. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jump, jump, jump. This is turning into quite a problem. Okay, I'm starting to get peckish as well. I'm going to have myself a noodle cup, because that restores both hunger and thirst. Okay, better but still parched. That gets rid of a tiny bit of hunger as well. Yeah, honestly, I'm not too worried about the raiders. It's just this rad scorpion who's torn through super mutants and raiders alike, but I'm still panicked about. Because where has it gone? My hope is that I'll go back to hidden and it will stop patrolling that way. But nope, instead, looks like the raiders are going for it. And it's got to be fairly weak now. Oh, into hidden. Okay, I'm pressing forward. Harbour Master Hotel. Where is it? Oh, I hate red scorpions. They are the worst. And that's a mile up. I think they might have killed it. Okay, let's take some ammo. Uh, any of that stuff's better for me? Nope. There's a stim pack there at least. Oh, this is dangerous. Come on. 
Oh, fu fusion cores. You know what? Whilst I've got the strength for it, let's take them. I can decide later just how important they actually are. Where's this red scorpion gone? I can't see its corpse anywhere. Annoyingly, it does blend in with the dirt a bit when it dies. Okay, one of them up... Oh, what's the chances it's gone up there? To somewhere I can't get to. You know what? I might just leave... There it is. Dead. Oh, we killed a red scorpion. Legendary glowing red scorpion. And there we go, get myself a tiny bit more ammo. You better have something damn good on you. Because that fight has stressed me out way too much. Having the super mutants and the raiders and all of those different variables is not fun. I hate you. I hate you so much. I can't even use that. Yeah, it's a gun I can't use that isn't even any good. And I get a legendary glowing red scorpion for that. That's... No, that's just damn annoying. Alright now, I guess I should carry on with where I'm going. Which is, yeah, up this way. And you, buddy, need to die. Wow, super mutants can be tough, can't they? Okay, let's check on the map where I need to go. It's... Yeah, I turn right and then left, then up there. It's... at ah, Hub360. That is the location, isn't it? Yep. So I need to head into that building with the super mutants on top. So killing him is going to be the good move. Okay, he's going to walk straight over this bit here. When he does, I just need to pull the trigger. Perfect. And jump. Now to hope there's no more red scorpions around. Because honestly... Okay. There we go. Yeah, honestly, I'm not too worried about super mutants. Yeah, the mutants aren't a huge problem. Rad scorpions are. A suicider could mess me up, but you at least hear those coming. Rad scorpions, though, can just pop out the ground to just destroy you. So don't want to be running into any of those. I think I'm just going to have to go in the front door. I don't... Game, thank you. I don't want to risk... Doing some long and dangerous journey that might not pay off. And I'm also going to ditch a couple of shotgun shells I picked up. Because those are not worth carrying. Let's hope this goes well. Alright, definitely going to be mutants in here. But as to where they are... That's uh, a bit more tricky, isn't it? Bottle cap mine. I think I'll avoid that mark. Or maybe there'll be more mines. And I won't be able to avoid them. Because that would be nice. How far away can I get while still being able to shoot it? That seems good. Yep. One safe shot there. Let's get... Come on. Damn thing's gonna get in my way. Oh, come on, bats! I hate you! Perfect. Okay, I'm trying to build up another critical at the same time. But, jeez, the accuracy on bats really bugs me. I mean, sure, I'm a low perception character, but even with high perception, I find it's not enough to really justify going for a bats build half the time. Because if you're half decent at shooters, then your own accuracy is just ten times better. And now to go up the stairs, where nothing will be safe. Wait, what rank of sneak have I got? 
Oh, I no longer trigger mines. I could have taken those for myself. Alright. Gotta try and remember what level I'm at. I always play it more cautious than I need to. Which is good, sure, but... Going down. Yeah, I could also play it a lot Second. smarter and get myself some free mines. Which would be lovely to have. Alright, the quest marker has updated. And is continuing to update to apparently that door. Which is very close. Oh. That's a gore bag, not a mutant. I hear something. That you do. Okay, super mutant skirmisher. Gonna dart into this room. Yep, is playing tricks on you again. Let's get some of that. I'm taking a fair bit of bone as well, because you always need just a little bit of bone and don't have enough unless you're really, really uh, good with your looting early. So just making sure I've got a little bit now that I'm somewhere where there's a whole bunch of bone. No, oh, some 10 mm ammo. Perfect. Right, trying again to spot this guy. Don't really want to risk throwing any explosives in here. I'm sure you would, but I'm not going to let you do that to me. Because it would be quite painful, and I don't want that. I know he's up there somewhere. Screw it! You gotta come down to me, mate. Yeah, and I'm a better shot than you are. There we go. Alright, looks like it was just for one guy here. Let's drop down and take uh, just his ammo. We can sell it at least. Yeah, not actually going too badly in here. I was expecting it to be packed with a lot more mutants at the start, but so far, things are going alright. Right, the quest is saying to go through this door. I'm not sure I fully trust it, but let's give it a go. Oh, and I've spawned right behind a skirmisher. Oh, shame for you, but I've got a gun with a silencer that can pick you off nice and easily. Someone below me as well. Yep. Nope, nope, not the leg, the torso, where I've got a nice clear shot. Yeah, let's pump a whole bunch into his torso. Perfect. Almost rebuilt that critical up. I'll be honest, I am a little worried. Can you now? Oh, you've gone inside. Which means he could just spawn through a load zone at any point. Which is, you know, helpful. Okay, and oh, the quest marker for this quest appears to be broken. Because, yeah, it's just telling me, oh, go inside. No, go outside. Oh, go through a different door. Different door. You need to go through a different door. Which I might need to do, but it'd be nice to actually know properly where I'm supposed to go. Okay, Super Mutant just there. Can I get you in the head? Oh, you've just got a board. Let's take my time with these shots. Perfect. Oh! Um. Hit! These are quite clearly being shot at him. Jeez, that's noisy. Okay. There we go. Lots of mutants all trying to kill me. And I do not like it one bit. I have a feeling the quest isn't going to be happy unless I go through a specific door. So, let's try and find that specific door. And I'm thirsty from a lack of water. Well, you know what? I've got a bit of healing to do. Oh, actually, and I'm overtired. So, let's have myself that final nuka cherry. Yeah, that will heal me up. 
That should get rid of a tiny bit of my first. And should also deal with the tiredness issue. There's a lot of locations, like, on these roofs. I'm not sure I enjoy that too much. So yeah, what's in that place? I do not know, but I'm not... I was going to say, I'm not going to risk jumping over. Well, you don't need to, Sarge, because there's a handy little bridge here. Maybe somebody's got themselves a little yeah, location here with some mentats and some whiskey and beer. All right, and... Ooh, microscope. I do love myself a microscope. All right, it's getting real dark now as well, so I'm struggling to see a little bit, which is a bit of an annoyance, I will admit. Uh... Now I've apparently got to go up again. 32. I do not like this quest marker. I feel like it's just trying to annoy me. Oh, raider over that way. Yes, one on its own by the looks of it though. And I'd like to be able to get through this place. Look, my character should be able to duck her head down just a tiny bit, please. Alright, alright, alright. Aha! That's the door we're going for there. Okay, just need to head over onto this bit. That is perfectly acceptable game. It's very convenient that there's always walkways between these buildings. Yeah. Looks like I just go in here. And then into, yep, Hub360. Coolio. Nothing too dangerous right at the start here. Which is always the way I like to begin it. And, yeah, the cache is right on that side. So, no, 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 peek out the other corner. You're all good. We are all good. And there's the cache. And, yeah, some random stuff. And, oh yeah. Let's take the 10mm rounds, please. Uh, I'm going to take the stealth boy. Don't want any of the postman stuff. But, yeah, take that too. Sweet. Got all of that. And let's just go out the same way because it should be somewhat safe. So I'm guessing I didn't need to do half the stuff I did in this episode. But, oh well, I've done it now. I don't think I'm going to deal with that scaver. Instead, let's just try sneaking away and not picking any fights. Instead, I'm just going to play it safe. Although, I do want to loot this tiny little section here, just in case there's anything nice, because that is a advanced safe. Uh, some radix at least, and ooh, frag grenades. That is quite nice actually. Uh, brackets are shuffling. That's uh, not so good. Just need to sneak around this way, make it back to the water, and then leave. And now we are at the water, which is perfect, because I can just jump in and splosh, and now swim back to the railroad. So, nice, easy way to end it off. Oakley, Oakley, back. No, out of the water, please. Out, 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 out of the water! Thank you. Yeah, back into the railroad place now I go. Alrighty. Oh, shut up, Pam. I'm trying to talk to you. Well done, agent. Runners will be sent to acquire contents. Reward dispensed. Yeah, I'm carrying too much. Agent. Bullseye. Hold up, hold up. I need to drop whatever useless junk you gave me. What did you give me? What did you give me? Covert sweater vest. Yeah, I do not need that. I'll just drop it for now, okay? The cash you found has some real serious high tech. But the creme de la creme is ballistic polymer weave. Lightweight, serious stopping power. And it looks just like normal clothing. I got some in stock now. Oh, give me some time. I got all sorts of ideas. And yep, there's now ballistic weave stuff going on. So if we go into his thing, yep, he's got armoured clothing. And as you all, I'm sure, know, that means we'll be able to make ourselves some nice armoured clothing. And, uh, deliver a powerful receiver. I am taking that. <laughs> I'm just taking that right now. And uh, no more 10mm ammo. Yeah, just take that. Okay, I've got a small bit of crafting to do, it seems. First off, let's see if I can make... Oh yeah, that's for weapon bent. So instead of harden, hardened, we can get up to powerful. So from 60 to 72. Oh, that is so much better. That is so, so much better. And where's the armor bench? Armor bench is here. So, yes, as I get ranks of armorer, 
I'll be able to put on much, much higher damage resistances. So I might have to think about getting the strength bobblehead soon. Alrighty, I am a long way off of being able to improve that. I need so much more ballistic fibre. But, you know, that'll be something for me to deal with in later episodes. For now, though, I am going to end things here. Because next time, I think I'll go back to one of my settlements and get a proper night's sleep. Because I just can't get enough sleep in this place. There's no decent beds, which really sucks. So instead, I'll have to go somewhere else and find a nice place to get some rest. So back to some settlements, do some work there, and then carry on with some more quests, because I think busy. I'll need to get on with the main story very soon. Thank you all very much for watching. If you do want to help out the channel, I have a Patreon. I should probably plug that on occasion. Yeah, I've got a Patreon if you want to make a financial contribution to the channel. If you don't, that's fine though. You can still help out by doing stuff just like hitting the like button. So, thank you all very much for watching. Sarge out.